Hello and welcome to the part 18 of my 2024 F1 season simulation. If you missed the last part, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, round 17, make sure to check that one out before watching this video. Uh, that was a pretty crazy Grand Prix with a relatively anticlimactic podium, but at least it was the other way around this time. Anyways, let's get back to the round 18. This is Singapore Grand Prix. This is the last part before the first 18 races recap and before the last six races of the simulation as well. We're just over a week away from winter testing, so this means that the simulations will basically come out every single day at this point uh, with some additional uploads like event bots or alternatively predictions or whatever, just uh, videos outside the simulation itself. I want to upload a last simulation video around when winter testing starts, basically. So there's like content till the winter break, basically. Anyways, uh, Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, as I alluded uh, in the <laughs> in the last part, there may be some rain in the forecast, and uh, as we get closer to the Grand Prix, looks like it's going to be raining in every single session. And <laughs> okay, this is gonna this could be crazy because Singapore, as we know, whenever it rains, it can bring a lot of surprises. And yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but it, it, it definitely did this time as well. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's get into the queue. Oh, sorry, actually, let's uh, skip the upgrades first because I haven't updated them. Uh, basically, a few upgrades for every single team uh, doesn't really matter for that part. Uh, this is not updated. Let's get into Q1. As, as, again, the upgrades don't really mean anything. They're just so small updates at the end of the season. Basically, no big change anyway. Uh, back to Q1. We have Max Verstappen topping this session provisionally. With Norris in P2, Stroll P3, Hamilton P4, Gasly P5, Zunoda P6, Piastri P7, Charles Leclerc P8, Russell P9, and Daniel Ricciardo in P10. Now we have Sainz in P11, Albon P12, Ocon P13, Hasses of Hulkenberg Magnussen in P14, P15, and originally knocked out in Q1 in Singapore, uh, Logan Sargent, the two Sauber cars of Otas and Joe, and Alonso and Perez with no time set for each of them. Both Unfortunately, having a driver causing a red flag due to their due to them crashing into a wall, uh, very unfortunate that those conditions were difficult for every single driver. Uh, just to still had uh, more unfortunate endings for their incidents. Uh, this also brought out two red flags, one red flag for each of the drivers, uh, with no time. So yeah, this also uh, made. The the timing's a bit weird at, at places like you know, we have strolling P3 and stuff like that. Just weird stuff, you know. Uh, obviously, it's not the correct backing order that we're going to see. Uh, obviously, we may not even see the correct backing order because the rain and things like that. But yeah, uh, let's get into the final classification. There are no changes in no deleted lap times in Singapore. There is basically no place for the deleted lap time anyway, pretty much. So... Yeah, this is basically how it is. Uh, knocked out in Q1 in Singapore are uh, Logan Sargent, Valtteri Bottas, Quenyo, Fernando Alonso, and Checo Perez. Let's get into Q2. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said it's going to be crazy. Alpine 1 2 and provisionally in Q2. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton P3, then Ricardo P4, Stroll P5, Piastri P6, Hulkenberg in the Haas in P7, uh, Albert in the Williams in P8, and Charles Leclerc and Chicago Science. Completing the top 10 in the Ferraris. P11 for Lando Norris. P12 for George Russell. P3, perfect. P13 for Magnussen. P14 for Snowden. And P15 for Max Verstappen, who said, said no time as he suffered a similar incident to Fernando Alonso in Q1. Uh, unfortunately, his crash into the wall caused another red flag, which, I mean, let's be honest, <laughs> this is probably not the correct backing word. Yeah, let's say like that. As the weather is always changing during the qualifying, uh, sometimes there's more rain, sometimes there's less rain. It's just constantly, constantly wet, and sometimes just too wet for inters. Sometimes it's not. So the times are going to change always. And this is how Q2 is provisionally ended up. Uh, as the final classification is pretty much the same as again I, I mentioned earlier. There's pretty much no space for completed lap time in here as. Uh, <laughs> Exceeding track limits it basically means uh, getting to the wall, as uh, some drivers already experienced. Yeah, this is, the, <laughs> this is the final classification. So out in Q2 are Norris, Russell, Magnus, and Sunoda, and Max Verstappen. Okay, uh, Q3. 
originally Piastri on pole position for the Singapore Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton P2, Charles Leclerc P3, Pierre Gasly P4, Hulkenberg P5, Sainz P6, Stroll P7, Albon P8, Hawkon P9, and Daniel Ricciardo in P10. Hawkon and Ricciardo, same, sim, similar thing to Alonso and Perez in Q1, both having their incidents of their own, bringing out the red flag. So two red flags in Q3 once again. And so you have to pay our race. Also very, very strange so far. Piastri in pole position. Uh, that's, I guess, okay. And so Hamilton P2 uh, in the rain, always a great driver. Charles Leclerc P3. And it's Gasly in P4 in the Alpine. Uh, I mean, the Alpines showed great pace in Q2, but I don't think anyone expected them to be because uh, it's late up there. Hulkenberg in P5 in the Haas, probably the biggest star of this qualifying, uh, let's be honest, and the second slowest car on the grid right now. P5 in qualifying, very, very good job. P6 for Carl Sainz, P7 for Lance Stroll, P8 for Alex Albon, a great qualifying from Albon as well. P9 and, uh, for Alpine, P10 for Dan Ricciardo. <laughs> The final classification doesn't change, as I alluded earlier, there, there's no space for deleted lap times. So, uh, Piastri pole position, let's recap the starting grid. Uh, Oscar Piastri lines, lines up on pole position for the Singapore Grand Prix, which is also going to be wet. Uh, <laughs> Lewis Hamilton P2, Charles Leclerc P3, Gasly P4, Hulkenberg P5, Carl Sainz P6, Stroll P7, Albon P8, Ocon P9, and then Ricardo running on the top 10, Norris P11, Russell P12, Madison P13, Sumela P14, Verstappen P15, Sargent P16, Bottas P17, Joe P18, Alonso P19, and Perez starting that last after that crashing, qualifying. Uh, very, very bad start to the Grand Prix for Red Bull, especially uh, as they seem to be cursed once again in Singapore for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the race. Um, the race is going to have some interesting results, let's say like that. Uh, <laughs> as we think they are, Lewis Hamilton winning the Singapore Grand Prix in the simulation in 2024. The first race of the win for Lewis Hamilton, I think it's the win number 104, if I remember correctly. Uh, the first win since Saudi Arabia in 21, uh, <laughs> with the fastest lap as well. Gasly P2, Hulkenberg, Nico Hulkenberg in P3, has his first podium, Hulkenberg's first podium in the Formula 1. Um, I haven't lost of words, honestly. Uh, let's just recap what happened during the race so you can uh, get an idea of what, what craziness happened. In terms of weather, it basically went from full wets to enters, dries, enters, wet enters, uh, Basically, it just went all over the place. There was a, like a brief period where the drivers could uh, could basically get themselves dry tires, but it was such a brief period that it started raining very soon after. And unfortunately, as the track was drying up, drivers tried uh, dry tires, and unfortunately for Suda and Perez, those two drivers were the victims of putting on dry tires in the wet conditions and crashing out, causing two red flags. Uh, yeah, a red flag for Perez was during the dry session, so that was earlier uh, during the wet period, so correction there. Uh, yeah, the red flag shuffled the grid quite a lot. Then we had the, 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 the weather thing itself. And it caused this chaotic, uh, <laughs> chaotic is probably not worthy enough of a word for this <laughs> race results. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ocon P4, T4 for LP, <laughs> P5 for Stroll, P6 for Piastri, P7 for Charles Leclerc, P8 for Russell, P9 for Max, and P10 for Kevin Magnussen, making that double has points finish since God knows when that last happened. Uh, I can actually think of uh, the last time Haas scored double points finish. Probably could have been like maybe even before before the uh, the Mazepin era itself. Maybe like 2020 or 2019. I actually don't know. It's a long time ago since Haas had the double points finish. And they did it in a, quite a fashion as well. In such a chaotic Grand Prix. Norris just outside the 
just outside the top 10 in P11, then it's Science P12, Alonso P13, Ricardo P14, Sergeant P15, Albon P16, and Du Sauber's last finishing cars quite a way down behind the rest of the grid. In P17 and P18, Bot Bottas ahead of Joe. Okay, okay. It's so very difficult to get, uh, it gets uh, seemingly uh, good explanation of what happened. Uh, I'm still like, still surprised, just as you are probably, uh, about these race results, and I'm still uh, at a loss of words at some moments, as you may see. Yeah, uh, I should probably like, mention the previous drivers. Obviously, Hulkenberg win a uh, podium. <laughs> Podium in the house. Uh, yeah, that's just self-explanatory. Hamilton winning a wet race from P2 on the grid with fastest lap. Uh, great drive from Hamilton in the wet conditions. Alpines had an amazing weekend. Uh, showed great pace. Credit qualifying and, and the race itself, it looks like. <laughs> the double top four finish for Alpine. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting for the constructors as well. Uh, and the rest of the top teams basically scored only with one driver with Aston um, McLaren Ferrari and Red Bull having only one driver in the, in the points yeah <laughs> if before a Grand Prix someone would tell me that only three teams would score double points and there are Alpine, Haas and Mercedes I would probably not believe them <laughs> let's be honest but yeah in terms of the simulation uh, chaotic things can happen and uh, yeah I still like flabbergasted what just happened just I'm overwhelmed, basically, and yeah, this is pretty difficult to <laughs> to record. Anyways, let's get to the World Drive Championship before I lose my head. Uh, Max Verstappen is leading the way on 280 points now. Uh, three victories, 11 podiums, 7 pole positions, and 9 fastest laps. Then it's Charles Leclerc making one place, jumping Fernando Alonso, uh, with whom he was uh, tied on points for this Grand Prix. Three, body, uh, sorry, three victories, four podiums, two poles, and four passes lap for Charles. There's Alonso in P3. Uh, he has scoreless Grand Prix, 202 points, three victories, six podiums, three poles, and two passes laps. Dan Norris, uh, as well as Sven Alonso, scoreless in this Grand Prix, 184 points, three victories, five podiums, two poles, and a fastest lap. Oscar Piastri in P5, gaining eight points on now 179. Two victories, five podiums, three poles, and fast slap. George Russell getting four points, but greatly outshined by his teammate in this Grand Prix. 165 points, uh, victory, and seven podiums. There's Lewis Hamilton, obviously with a huge point swing, leapfrogging Perez and Sainz. Back to P7 now, 26 points uh, on the board, and 148 from the entire season so far. A victory and two podiums, and a fast slap as well. So finally, some good statistics for Hamilton. P8 for Perez, 146 points, scoreless, one victory and four podiums from the uh, from the season. Science in P9, 145 points, scoreless as, as well, victory, five podiums, and a pole position. Uh, okay, so last roll, getting 10 points, but is in a pretty pretty lonely spot. A lot, uh, quite a, quite a way ahead of Sonoda, but a lot behind Science as well. 87 points now, two podiums. Uh, P11 for Snowda, P52 points, uh, scoreless this time around, as well as the entire racing will steam, which could uh, mean a lot in the constructors. Uh, Gasly with that podium. <laughs> P12, still, no or no position change there, 42 points, and a podium, obviously. Ocon with that P4, now 35 points and P13. Uh, Albon P14 with 19 points and a podium. Hulkenberg. Uh, jumping three places, gaining 15 points, and uh, now 80 points in the podium uh, after the first 18 races of the season. Uh, Sargent dropping one place, uh, 14 points in P16, uh, same points for Ricardo in P17, Bottas P18 with 5 points, Magnussen gaining one place ahead of Joe with the 1 point from Singapore, uh, now a 1 point in P19 and a P20, it's Guanyu Joe yet to score points in the simulation. Okay, yeah, this was interesting. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, I guess we got the constructors, so I, I, so I don't have to walk. 
anymore. Uh, <laughs> Red Bull leading the way on 426 points, four victories, 15 podiums, seven pole positions, and nine fastest laps. And as McLaren in P2 uh, in no position changes in the top five, 363 points, five podiums, 10 pole positions, five, uh, sorry, 10 podiums, five pole positions, and two fastest laps. And it's Ferrari uh, in P3, 353 points, just 10 points behind McLaren. Four victories, nine podiums, three poles, and four passes laps. Then it's Mercedes, gaining 30 points, but still uh, 40 points behind, uh, behind Ferrari, and 50 points behind McLaren. It's a quite a long way. And considering they, they scored so many points thanks to the rainy Singapore, I don't know if I... Uh, if there's if it's doable to for them to climb back to P2. Uh 313 points, two victories, nine podiums, and the fastest lap for Mercedes. 289 points for Aston Martin in P5, three victories, eight podiums, three pole positions, and two fastest laps. Then it's uh Alpine now in P6, jumping racing bulls. Actually the release probably by quite a while. They were uh they're eleven points now ahead, so that means they were uh, was 28 points behind or 29? Uh, I don't know if uh, my minds are correct. <laughs> let's let's hope they are. 77 points for Alpine and podium. Racing Bulls team now in P7, 66 points. Um, just want to mention that I'm gonna, I'm gonna change their color uh because it's basically the same as Williams, and I, I don't want to have four blue teams in this simulation <laughs> already. Uh, I could change Alpine to pink, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna change that after 18 races, basically. I'm gonna like let it change, let, let it be like this. Eight, eighth place for Williams so far, 33 points and a podium. P9 for Haas, jumping Sauber by so many points. Uh, 15 points, actually, it's just 16 points from this Grand Prix. Apologies for that. Um, I pr probably forgot about Magnussen's points finish just because of how crazy the Grand Prix itself was. 16 points for Haas, uh, now on one podium and 19 points. And Sauber in dead last on five points. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think this is this is doable for Sauber to overcome Haas now thanks to that podium and double points finish in Singapore because that was such a crazy race that may just not happen anymore in the, in the season. But we never know. We could, this could very well change from Grand Prix to Grand Prix. It just uh, simulation brings crazy things and yeah, maybe very interesting going forward. Yeah, uh, next up is the US Grand Prix. Uh, the, obviously, it's after the recap that I'm going to do tomorrow. So you can expect the upload tomorrow, uh, as well as my VOD of the stream. I'm going to stream in uh, on Sunday today on Twitch, if you want to check that out. Um, then it's going to be to round 19 of US Grand Prix on Tuesday, I assume. And that's going to be like... Uh, uh, part of uh, simulation basically every single every single day after uh, so it can finish just before or throughout as a winter testing starts hopefully yeah US Grand Prix always exciting uh, always excited for this race it's one of my favorite races on the calendar as well just like Austin and the entire atmosphere and the circuit it's, itself I really like to drive it on the F1 game and, and generally enjoy the track Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you want to see from my content uh, going forward. And yeah, as always, see ya.